Hello, welcome to the University of California, San Diego Chronic Kidney Disease Program. My name is Christy Turner and I am the registered dietitian. My role is to help our patients understand their diet for kidney disease. In this module, I will review phosphorus intake in chronic kidney disease. Phosphorus is a mineral that helps keep your bones healthy and helps keep blood vessels and muscles working. It is found naturally in foods rich in protein, such as meats, poultry, fish, nuts, beans, and dairy products. It is sometimes added to foods and drinks as a preservative. These are called phosphorus additives. High blood phosphorus levels can weaken your bones, cause itchy skin, and bone and joint pain. Not all patients require a dietary phosphorus restriction. High blood phosphorus levels are not usually seen until more advanced kidney disease. Do not restrict dietary phosphorus unless instructed to do so by your kidney doctor or dietitian. We will monitor your lab values on a regular basis to determine if a diet restriction is needed. Some examples of foods and drinks that are higher in phosphorus include dark color sodas, mini bottled teas and flavored waters, dairy products including cow's milk, ice cream, yogurt, cheese, beans, and nuts and seeds. Some examples of lower phosphorus foods include most light-colored soda pops, non-dairy sorbet or popsicles, unenriched rice milk, almond milks, cream cheese. Phosphorus is not required by law to be on the nutrition facts label, so sometimes you will need to do your own detective work. A very good resource is the USDA National Nutrient Database. You can search for foods to find out how much phosphorus is in it. If you are on a phosphorus dietary restriction, it will be important to avoid phosphorus additives. To find additives, you can scan the ingredients list for words that have PHOS. Some examples are provided, phosphoric acid, hexametaphosphate, Examples of foods that may have added phosphorus include commercial baking mixes, instant pudding mixes, the dark sodas, bottled teas, and many flavored waters. The first step to bringing phosphorus levels down is always to limit phosphorus in the diet. If phosphorus levels remain high, then the second step would be to add a phosphorus binder medication. Phosphorus binders come in different shapes and sizes. Some are pills that you swallow, some are in chewable or powder or even liquid forms. Binders must be taken with your meals to be effective. They work by binding phosphorus from your foods before it can be absorbed into the bloodstream. Let's try answering a few more questions to see what you've learned so far. What is one example of a product that may contain phosphorus additives? Some examples would include dark sodas, commercial baking mixes, instant puddings, some bottled teas and flavored waters. True or false, you can find phosphorus additives by looking at the ingredients list listed on the food label. True, look for words with PHOS, for example, phosphoric acid. Congratulations, you have completed the module on phosphorus intake and chronic kidney disease. Please check our website for additional educational modules on kidney health.